Welcome to Teens on Topic. I'm your host, Emma Arntzen, and today I'm joined by... Sam Sheridan. Uh, Hattie Shaw. Ethan Shake. We have another exciting topic this week to talk about, but first, let's see what the people of Davis have to say about it. Do you think college tuition should be free? I mean, I think we'd all like that. I think that'd be really nice, and it'd make... It'd incentivize a lot more people to go to school, too, because then they wouldn't have to worry about paying for it. But... I mean, yes, but politics are not my thing, so not really going to. Uh, that would be amazing if it is. Um, I think it's terrible right now that um, the students basically have to take out a loan that's equivalent of a, a house loan and try to pay that back, go to school. Um, I graduated from college like in 1985, and it was a lot cheaper back then. <laughs> And so I wasn't saddled with, you know, this hu humongous debt. Um, I also hope that um, that more and more uh, schools, if it doesn't become free, that, that more and more um, that there are more programs to forgive college debt, especially if you go into if you do something good for society or whatever like that. That my wife actually um, benefited from something like that um, when she graduated. She wanted to go into public interest law to help people in poverty that's awesome yeah so yeah the the politicians right now that are talking about that good for them <laughs> so you support like debt relief programs and stuff like and uh candidates like bernie sanders and elizabeth warren have a, like um free like tuition programs that they want to implement yeah definitely i mean you know they have to figure out um Wait, the ways to pay for it, you know. But um, you know, so anybody talking about that has, you know, in order for everyone to buy it, you know, they're going to have to explain how they're going to pay for it. Um, but uh, but yeah, it's uh, you know, it shouldn't be this like ridiculous thing on your shoulders when you get out of college. Um, I mean, some people usually have some debt, you know, when they get out of college, but not that much debt. So, and then it's, you know, it's harder to find, like, especially if you want to go into a job that maybe isn't, like, um, as high paying, but it's, like, something um, of great benefit to society. You know, you end up, like, taking jobs that, you know, pay you more money, but it's maybe it's not really what you want to do or, you know... Or you know you might, you could be doing something something better than that um, if not for this problem. Uh, yes, I do think it should be free. Um, it's important to educate the youth of America and starting them off by putting them in debt for essentially the rest of their life is not really a good way to boost our future economy and everything in this country. So. Do you think it's like realistic for uh, like candidates like Bernie Sanders who promise uh, like debt-free college? Um, I think it can be with the proper delegation of funds. He hasn't really put out a distinct plan for uh, how he wants to go about free college. Elizabeth Warren has a more actual structured plan about how she'd want to pay for it. I'm more of a Bernie fan, but. I'd like to see him actually put out a plan for how he intends to pay for it. Well, those were some very interesting opinions. It seems like everyone pretty much had the same. Yes, we should have free college, but Sam, what did you think about the uh, their like opinions on the fact that it should be free? Uh, I think that like there needs to be some sort of like uh, difference between like public universities and, and private universities. I know for me personally, I have a lot of issues with the UC system and the way that things are run, especially for people um, like us who live in California and who are from California. Um, I, it sometimes feels like we, ha we don't even have the upper hand going to these uh, like California schools. Um, I know that for me, I'm relying on like um, financial aid and aid from the school um, to get myself through college. But I don't think that all college should necessarily be free. Um, I do want to dive into something a little bit later about how I feel about like FAFSA and stuff like that. Um, if anyone else has any opinions or anything. Um, I don't like the DMV because it's low. And so if college is like that, I won't be happy. 
that the government runs colleges? No, if it's okay. like the DMV. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, um, I think this is a super duper, I mean, it's not necessarily complicated, but there's so many aspects to this. Um, I mean, there's the free tuition things for pr um, public colleges, and there's debt relief, um, which Elizabeth Warren has said. Um, I think it's really easy to just say, oh, yeah, we want free college, um, and then um, pretend like you can pay for that. Bernie Sanders, who is, I mean, uh, congratulations to him. This is his uh, work going from the fringe to being in the mainstream now, where his idea is basically accepted by the entirety of his, not even his party, but the Democratic Party. Um, and so he simultaneously says that he wants a middle class tax cut, um, which if you're gonna, ri if you're gonna um, uh, do all these spendings, this is not the only thing that he wants to spend extravagant c uh, lots of money on. He, also, um, he has all those other things, but um, if you want to spend all that money, you're gonna have to find a way to pay for it. And there's not enough rich people in America that you're just gonna, <laughs> oh, we're gonna need to tax the millionaires and billionaires, which I'm one of now. He's a, billi he's a, billi he's a millionaire now. Um, <laughs> But they already pay um, so much of our taxes. It's, you, know, you can keep raising the rates. It's just not enough to pay for all these crazy things, which I think is the first thing that we need to look over before a whole lot of other things that are I involved in this. <coughs> well, Blaine once told me that if you took all the money from the most rich people, the top 10%, you could run the government for eight months, which is like, I mean, the government spends a lot, a lot of damn money. So I don't think we can keep spending more. We can find places to cut it, but I don't know. College already sucks. Wouldn't it get worse if it was free? Well, yeah, I think that another thing that's like important to look at is is like how government aid impacts like um, the pricing for colleges. Like if the government keeps giving more and more aid, colleges keep seeing or colleges don't see any downturn in um, like applications or acceptances um, if like as because the government is giving people more aid, and so then the colleges are like, oh, we can just continue to raise our prices, and then the government gives more aid, and the colleges raise prices. Right. And so I think that that's kind of um, a problem and a cycle, too, and that's why we see the price of college increasing um, so much more rapidly and so much more quickly than just regular No, I think this inflation. is something that a lot of people neglect to realize, which is, um, I think it's the Cato Institute has a project called Human Progress, and they have this mm -hmm. chart where it shows um, for one textbook in the 1980s, you can't even get a, one textbook now. And for one of those ugly box TVs, you can get like t uh, 15 of those. Yeah. The price um, of everything related to education has been subsidized, and therefore prices have gone up. It's just if you want to make something uh, as screwed up as college, subsidize it. Yeah. Yeah. How do you guys, I mean, as like graduating seniors going into college, how do you feel, like how much did like, money and that kind of stuff impact your decision? Well, I think it definitely impacted mine. I got like a half ride scholarship oh, to the nice. college I'm going to. And I, thank oh. you. <laughs> I definitely wouldn't be able to afford to go to that college if I didn't get that aid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about you? Uh, the government did give me some money. Well, that was from the government, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, they gave me some money. So, uh, yeah. I feel like a communist at this point. <laughs> kind of sucks. Yeah, that's too bad. I'm it's also free money, so I'll take it. Yeah, hey. The problem with that is that a lot of that money isn't free, right? So a lot of it, and not all of it is, you know, financial aid. A lot of it is loans, which is the government loaning, you know, uh, people money that they have trouble with later on. Um, I think you see a lot of people later on in life saddled with student debt, um, and you know, there are decisions that we uh, going out into the world can make that will prevent us from going to that, right? Working it, working with college, it sucks. It's you know, it's tough. Um, it might make life boring because you don't have time for other stuff, but um, it helps. Going through community college and transferring saves you a lot of money. Uh, there are a lot of tangible steps that you can do, um, as you know, college students, as people going into the world, um, that save you money in the long run, and then you don't have to have the government pay your debts off. Um, just going into the debt idea, that's pretty crazy because. How would I feel if I'm somebody who's, you know, had a lot of debt and managed to pay it off, managed to work my butt off to pay my debt off, and then I see, you know, my cousin Sal getting all his, um, my, co my cousin getting all his debt just <laughs> erased by Elizabeth Warren. Uh, I think that's 
pretty unfair. Um, yeah, I think another thing, though, that's important to look at is um, student debt is the only, uh, I think th my understanding is, like, the only debt that you can't go bankrupt from. Like, you can't, when you declare bankruptcy, like, your student debts stay with you. And so I think that, like, the fact that people who are 17 and 18 years old are signing up for these debts that might carry with them throughout the rest of their entire lives is kind of ridiculous. Um, I think that, obviously, like, if you work your butt off and if you pay your student loans off, that's great. But at the same time, like, how is America putting children in a situation where they're like, now get ready to carry this debt for the rest of your entire life, and we're not going to tell you, we're not going to give you any extra support, we're not going to give you any relief, um, anything like that, because oh, you signed up to do it. This other person paid it off, why can't you? Like, obviously in a perfect world, everyone could pay it off, and everyone would be like, I picked myself up, and I worked three jobs, and I did it the way that I could, but like, that's unfortunately not the reality, especially like depending on how rigorous your academic coursework is. Um, and so, like, obviously missing out on social things to work is just part of life, but I think it's much more than that. I think um, with the way that college is set up, like, I know that I'm signing on to a lot of student loan debt just because of where I'm going to school, and it's my choice, obviously, and I'm, like, willing to accept that, but I would feel better, and it would feel better to me if I knew that the government was willing to offer some sort of, not even relief, just like understanding um, for my student loan debt. Um, because I think it's kind of like signing your, signing part of your life away if, if there's no way to relieve it and there's no way to go bankrupt from I it. I think that's right and I think our federal government does do a lot to encourage this whole um, student debt culture, right? Right mm -hmm. with the FAFSA, they're encouraging you to take these loans that'll um, trouble you throughout your life. Also, I mean, there is there are choices to avoid those debt. I just think that's plain. I yeah. think I think for me, that, I mean, a lot of those choices would be less pal palatable. But there's still a way um, to avoid this culture, I guess, of debt taking. Uh, we don't. It's not just something with college, but uh, it's a big problem with our college application system today that we're basically encouraging student debt, um, and then sometimes for majors that don't help you pay them off. Yeah, that's another thing that like I'm thinking about too now, realizing like. Like one thing that if I could give advice to myself in the past or just in general to people is like look at what you're going to major in and look at that average salary and then think about that because obviously you have the dream job and you have like the stuff like that but but a, a thing to think about especially for like uh, like I'm I'm a communications major but I know kind of where I want to work uh, a little bit more and like what the salary looks like for that but for people who maybe don't I feel like that's something that's that's important to look at even more than just like could I pay this off. Well, thank you all for joining us. It was a very interesting episode. Make sure and join us next week. Thank you.